Hi Gemini, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom. I am Angel Lovey. If you have been here before, I want to thank you for watching. If you and I, I want to encourage you to please like, share, and subscribe. All right. I hope you had a wonderful month of April. Today, I'm going to be doing a message for the month of May 2015. I'm going to be using four different decks just to give you a variety and to uh, highlight the energies for the month. All right. The first deck that I'm going to be using is the Crystal Wind Oracle by Antonio Deliberado. The first card that I have for you is the Phoenix. And you know the story of the Phoenix. It's this bird who um, consumed itself in flames to be reborn from the ashes. Okay. A person who exudes a beautiful spirit. No matter what trials and tribulations that you have gone through, you are still more than willing to jump right back up and go again. That is admirable. To rise from the ashes of the phoenix or to make a miraculous comeback, you will experience a personal renaissance, a triumphant recovery from a setback, be it heartbreak, illness, or financial struggle. You surprise and surpass the opposition or competition. You understand the meaning of rebirth. You will never be defeated. The next deck that I'm going to be using is the Life Coaching Oracle by Kelly T. Smith. And Gemini, the universe would like you to know that it is time for you to trust and forgive. Forgive the past, forgive the present, you know, it's time for you to move on, leave the dead weight behind and move on to a magnificent future. It is time for you to let your God down and learn to trust again. We all know that it is hard, you know, after heartbreak and trials, you know, it is definitely a struggle to move forward. But the universe is asking you, you know, it's or telling you it's time to ground yourself, connect with spirit or your higher self, and it's time to move forward, let your guard down, and trust again. The way to heal is not through avoiding new experiences and opportunities or people that come into your life that will only keep the pain of the past alive. The way to heal this is through forgiveness, forgiving yourself and others. So today, be willing to learn from the past and step into your present. Take all that you have learned from painful past experiences and use this knowledge to create a better life for yourself. Trust that all of the people, opportunities and experiences that are for your highest good will enter your life now. The next oracle that I'm going to be calling upon is the Soul Journeys Oracle and it's going to highlight a message from your soul. Just some guidance as to the most important message that your soul would like you to know to help you on your path in May. And Gemini, that is self-esteem and self-worth our sense of worth and how we feel about ourselves mainly determines how fulfilled we feel and how rich and gratifying our lives are self-esteem and self-worth are defined as follows self-esteem is your relationship with yourself 
and your perception of who you are and how you are doing in the world. High self-esteem is seeing yourself as worthy of happiness and fulfillment. Listening to your body as it tells you what it needs. This does not include addic addictive habits, substances, or harmful desires. Addictions and harmful desires are only your body's desperate cries for help. Accept your desperation without self-degradation, de but do what it takes to help yourself reach your full potential. Meet life's challenges and managing change, trusting your decision-making abilities and listening to your intuition. Self-worth is your innate value as one of the creations of the universe your innate worth is not dependent on what you do how well you are doing how you feel about yourself and how others perceive you we are all worthy of existence we all have our gifts and strengths that bless the world without your unique presence there is a small vacant space and that space cannot be filled by anyone but you. A note on unworthiness. Even though our self-worth wants to be naturally felt and known, some of us feel worthless at our core. And to compensate for this feeling, we may try to prove we are useful and that we have value. You may also have drawn this card to help you reflect on how you can increase your self-esteem. Reflect on the list of things that make up high self-esteem and see any areas that can help you raise it. So Gemini, I guess you're struggling with some self-worth and self-esteem issues. Um, we all go through that. The key is to know that... Um, we are strong some of us are strong in one area and others are strong in another and what we can do is stick to what we are strong in and when we are willing to you know to explore you know but we need to be willing the next oracle i'm going to be calling on is the love oracle and it's going to highlight a message from your heart all right so from your heart for gemini what would the universe like us to know <laughs> and gemini it is saying that the answer is no so if you are about to make a decision or you you about to make a change in your life the universe is saying no and no doesn't mean not at all it could be not right now you need to take time all right so thank you for listening to my message Gemini I hope it resonates with you please let me know how the month of May unfolds for you by leaving your comments also please like share and subscribe and also watch your rising your moon and your sun sign to get more information as to how the month of may is gonna unfold all right namaste i look forward to seeing you here next month for another reading with me angel lovely lovey bye bye